Hi everyone, it's Fitz with The Daily Delivery. Hope you're doing well, I'm doing great. It's a fresh week. Well, if Sunday's the start of your week, I think we all recognize that on a calendar, Sunday works, but Monday's really the start. I don't, that's not important. Hey, what is important is, is please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Helps us out quite a bit. This DDs and all of our other content's growing like crazy. Hey, uh, I want to go back to Big 12 realignment uh, because on Friday's daily delivery, I didn't have time to get into everything. And there's a couple topics here that um, I really want to get into. And one is that Kansas State and the rest of the Big 12 have been under the contract holdings of ESPN and Fox with those Tier 1 and Tier 2 rights for many years. And it may continue to be that way as Brett Yormark, the new commissioner, is exploring discussions with those two entities that have exclusive rights to do so until later in the spring of 2024. The rights run through the spring of 24, start anew in 25. Um, and the conference is trying to assess the value of its rights. And as I mentioned previously, it's apparently getting really good feedback. But here's my concern about staying with the status quo with the Big 12 Conference media partners. ESPN has got its teeth deep into the SEC. In fact, it played a significant role in plucking Texas and Oklahoma out of this conference and moving them to that conference. Best of luck to those guys. I, I don't think you're going to do as well as you think you are. And of course, Fox is tied to the Big Ten. That is their baby, and they plucked USC and UCLA out of the Pac-12 and moved them into the Big Ten for that same time frame. That is where their money is, and that's where their greatest interest is. And if the Big 12 remains just tied to those two media entities in the future, you know from the start you're going to be in the back seat compared to everyone else. And I would venture to guess that getting on an over-the-air signal such as ABC or Fox and in other ways, CBS or NBC, will be really difficult if you only have two partners. I hope the Big 12 explores many partners like the Big 10 did and doesn't settle into the same old, same old. ESPN is exclusively with the SEC and are picking up filler games. The Big 12 won't be filler games for anyone. This is going to be a very entertaining brand of football. And if the conference does expand, I've had so many people tell me, why do we need Arizona and Arizona State in this conference and Utah going with BYU in this conference? They already have those markets. And I hear the word markets a lot. Just quit saying markets. Here's what ESPN and all of the media rights entities want. They want great football. And you know what is often great football? Rivalries. So those rivalries are worth money. And that's why I expect those schools to be atop the Big 12 shopping list in the future.